The thyroid gland is located uh, under the voice box of or larynx, uh, right on top of the trachea or windpipe. It is a butterfly shaped gland that has a right and a left side connected by an isthmus. Histologically speaking, the thyroid gland consists of structures called follicles or thyroid follicles, which contain the storage form or thyroid hormones. Surrounding these follicles are simple cuboidal cells called follicular cells. Follicular cells make thyroid hormone. They secrete a storage form of the thyroid hormone into the follicle. In between follicles, another population of cells called parafollicular cells secrete a second type of hormone called calcitonin. So the thyroid gland secretes two sets of hormones, thyroid hormones secreted by follicular cells which surround the follicle and calcitonin secreted by parafollicular cells located in between follicles. Iodine required to make thyroid hormones is a rare element found in some foods like seafoods, for example. Uh, because it's a rare element and it's not uh, found uh, in all foods, the body stores iodine in the follicles. The target organs of thyroid hormones are essentially also all cells in the body. Follicular cells bring iodine into the body from the blood and attach it to a thyroglobulin, to a protein called thyroglobulin. From there, thyroglobulin with iodine is secreted into the colloid. When the body needs T3 and T4, thyroglobulin is brought back into the follicular cell where it will be transformed into T3 and T4. T3 and T4 are then secreted into the blood. It's not a lipid-based hormone. It acts as a lipid-based hormone because thyroxine is a um, hydrophobic molecule, which means it can go inside the cell and act intracellularly, binding to DNA in the nucleus and to the mitochondrial DNA in the mitochondrial of, of cells and changing gene expression of proteins. The effects of thyroid hormones are profound. They increase metabolism across the board in, in every single cell, uh, which means that they have a calorigenic effect because if they increase the metabolism of cells like skeletal muscle cells, which produce heat, then we're going to be burning more calories and producing more heat. <clears throat> Thyroid hormones also have a permissive effect on growth hormone. Thyroid hormones are needed uh, in order for growth hormones to, be, uh, to work properly. Because remember that growth hormones are going to cause an increase in the growth of a skeletal muscle, bone, and cartilage. So thyroid hormones are needed in order for these uh, organs to um, be able to metabolize faster. So growth hormones have are, are uh, have an effect in the growth of uh, in the growth and maturation of an individual. Uh, the next effect is very very important. Uh, the thyroid hormones are needed for the maturation of the nervous system, uh, for the proper development of the nervous system. So to that effect, children or babies uh, that are not producing enough growth uh, en enough thyroid hormones will suffer from a form of mental retardation called cretinism. Hypothermia or low body temperature and other stressors like um, low blood glucose or exercise are gonna cause the hypothalamus to secrete thyrotropin-releasing hormone or TRH 
TRH travel through the hypophyseal, hypothalamic, hypophyseal portal system and affects the anterior pituitary, causing it to secrete thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone in turn reaches the thyroid gland and stimulates it into secreting T3 and T4. The effects of T3 and T4 throughout the body is an increase in metabolism of organs, increased body temperature, increases growth and development, increases calorie burned out, it increases heart rate, increases blood pressure. As the levels of T3 and T4 continue to rise, it's they increase in T3 and T4 have a negative feedback mechanism on the anterior pituitary, which causes inhibition of TSH secretion. It also has an inhibitory negative feedback effect on the hypothalamus, <coughs> inhibiting the secretion of TRH. This negative feedback mechanism allows for the levels of T3 and T4 to return back to normal. Abnormally high levels of T3 and T4 are called hyperthyroidism or Graves' disease. Graves' disease or hyperthyroidism is an autoimmune condition because antibodies attach to follicular cells of the thyroid, causing them to secrete T3 and T4. <clears throat> High levels of T3 and T4 in turn will affect the anterior pituitary, inhibiting secretion of thyroid stimulating hormone. Therefore, the levels of thyroid stimulating hormones in hyperthyroidism would be low. Other Signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism is goiter because of the constant stimulation of follicular cells. The thyroid gland will continue to increase in mass and grow, producing goiter. High levels of T3 and T4 increase metabolism of tissues across the body, which means an increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, increase calorie burnout, this is what we call the calorigenic effect, which also causes an increase in temperature. Polyphagia, which means unsatiated appetite, diarrhea. Another uh, common sign of hyperthyroidism is exophthalmos. Exophthalmos is caused by an increase in the connective tissue behind the eyeballs, which push the eyeballs out, creating what's also called as puffy eyes. So puffy eyes, exophthalmus, and goiter are two signs of hyperthyroidism or Graves' disease. A decrease in the levels of T3 and T4 is called hypothyroidism. A hypothyroidism could be caused by a lack of iodine in the diet. A lack of iodine in the diet will cause an increase in TSH because there is no high T3 and T4 to, to uh, produce the negative feedback mechanism. Continually increasing levels of TSH causes the, th the thyroid gland to grow and um, in size, to grow in size, causing the condition which we call goiter. Another cause of hypothyroidism could be tumors of the thyroid gland or pituitary insufficiency, which will mean that TSH is not being secreted. The effects of hypothyroidism will be on <clears throat> low metabolism, which translates into low heart rate, low blood pressure, uh, increase in uh, accumulation of fat, fat tissue, uh, low calorie burnout, which typically also causes weight gain.